What's up, everybody? I'm Trevor Sikama. That's Sage Surratt. Wake Forest wide receiver. We are here at House of Athletes in Miami, Florida, going through their scouting combine here. Sage, appreciate you joining me, man. Yes, sir. Appreciate you having me. So let's talk about some training a little bit. What's some stuff that you've been working on? You've had the NFL draft on your mind for a long time now. How's that process been? And what's some stuff that you've been working on? You know, uh, you know, I've been training for a long time. You know, uh, you know, opted out obviously. Right. So, you know, training my guy Mo, Mo Wells down here as an athlete. Yep. Uh, you know, working on speed, working on you know being a better receiver, position work, all that. Um, you know, just trying to get better every day. It's a good facility in here, man. There's no excuses. There's like no uh, excuses to get better. You got to make sure that you're getting to it. Exactly. You got a big basketball background, and some guys just like happen to play basketball that also play football. You were a damn good basketball player. You, I was looking up your high school stats, some of the things you were doing. How hard was it to walk away from basketball when you really fully committed to doing football? Uh, you know, I mean, it was tough. You know, I've been playing gra- basketball my whole life, but, uh, you know, my heart was gravitating towards football. So, I mean, you know, making that decision, you know, just, it was weird, you know, not transitioning to basketball season. Right, right. But, uh, you know, I got used to that, you know, you know. Everybody likes to talk about the basketball wide receiver background thing, helping out, but as somebody who you're living it, how does having that true sport background and with it being basketball specifically going to the receiver position really help you out of what you're doing? Yeah, I mean, just being able, I think uh, probably the biggest takeaway from that is uh, body control, uh, having body control in the air, going up for a rebound, or just going up for a jump ball, you know, being able to box the defender out, yeah. using my body, uh, showing the defender away. I think those are the things that mostly translate to football. Now, what's the toughest part? Like going from being a basketball player and then transitioning into that football player. I know you say you were fully committed to it, but What's the tough? What was the toughest challenge? Really, committing yourself fully to football from that sport? Um, probably just, I mean, just probably just you know, focus on football the whole the whole time. I mean, I wouldn't say it was a challenge; it was just something different. You know, after in high school, once you go to football, you know, go straight into basketball. Yeah. And then you kind of join. But I mean, it's straight it's straight football all year round. And uh, no, I mean, I took it as a challenge, and you know, just try to get better for every day with it. So I mean, you know, I love watching your tape because you are a catch point warrior. It just seems like if the ball is coming towards you, you're coming down with it. Take me inside the helmet. What's what's your mentality like when the ball is coming towards you? What are some of the things that you're thinking about? What makes a really good catch point wide receiver? Uh, you know, I mean, when, when the ball's in the air, it's ours. You know, yeah. that's, 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 that's the slogan our receiver room took on. If it's, if it's up, it's ours. So, I mean, when the ball's in the air, I mean, you just gotta attack the football. I think uh, that's probably the biggest takeaway uh, when the football's in the air. You have to attack it, you know, try to get the, you always got to come back to the football as well. So uh, that's my mentality going into it. I remember the specific play from your tape. You were playing Boston College, a little fade route to the end yeah. zone. You catch it over a guy, but you catch it one-handed, and you stiff arm him as you're coming to the ground. Come on, man. Did you mean to end that guy's career like that? I mean, what, what was it? Run me through that play, because that is a memorable play. Uh, I, I remember for that play, you know, we got, I got a check fade. I got a check fade. And, you know, like I said, with balls in the air, I'm going to go get it. So, uh, but, uh, by any means. So, I mean, well, you know, what happened after that just happened after that. But, you know, you just got to attack the ball in the air. Is that a situation where, and maybe it could be a different play as well, where you line up against a corner or somebody and you just tell your quarterback, like, dude, I got this guy. Like, like just throw me the ball and I'm going to come down. Yeah, just throw it up. You know, just throw it up. Especially in, especially in you know, goal line situation like that. Just throw it up, you know, just come down. So, let's talk about some of your training a little bit. You said that you were here at House Athletes. Who are some of the guys that you love to watch in the NFL where you go, okay, I'm going to get in a place like this and I'm going to try to get better at that. Who are some guys that you watch in the NFL that you go like, man, I see my game. It's kind of similar to that. I love to kind of become that kind of player. In the NFL. Yeah, I think uh, some, some guys would be uh, Michael Thomas. I think I've got similar, similar, yeah. similar in size. Uh, take some stuff from him. Uh, Mike Evans, I know, being a physical, big physical guy, you know, bullying the people. And then Devontae Adams, I mean, I mean, I think I think it takes people for himself yeah. you know, the way he's been playing this year. Uh, you know, his release game uh, is absolutely incredible. So uh, it just takes some things for him as well. So, some great ones. He's Sage Rott. I'm Trevor Sycamore. We'll be back for another prospect interview later this week.